Hi, I'm Mary, a librarian and book reviewer with a focus on stories written for kids, tweens, and teens. Today, I get to share with you this book called The Right Cousin Adventures Number One Fun Cookbook, written by Lisa A. Smith and Gregory O. Smith. This cookbook is not like any that you've seen before. It blends characters from the Right Cousin Adventures series and family recipes that have been handed down through the generations in the author's own family. So in this book, you are going to find 50 favorite desserts in a variety of categories. You've got cookies, ice cream, drinks, and more. And what's really fun about this book is that these treats can be enjoyed all year round. So no matter what season you find yourself in, there is a treat to go along with it. So as you go through the book, you'll find that the recipes are really accessible. They don't have a huge number of ingredients in each one, and they're designed for kids and grown-ups to put them together in the kitchen together. So there are lots of fun ways to engage with these recipes. So not only in making and enjoying the treats themselves, but also with all of the asides that come from the Right Cousin Adventures. So you have dialogue with the characters, you have little um, Easter eggs from the book. So if you've read the other books in the series, you'll find little reminders of things that maybe have happened within the stories. Um, and then you'll also find little activities that can be done throughout the book as well. So you've got um, a hidden puzzle to work on and several activities at the end of the book so that you have something to work on in the kitchen while you're waiting for your treats to bake. What's nice also is that there are some messages from the author. Um, all of these recipes have been tried and true by various folks, and so they've really honed them to be the best that they can be. So following these instructions makes them amazing. Um, and what's nice is that some of them also can be frozen. So if you make some cookie dough, you can put it in the freezer for a little while and then bake them at a time that's more convenient. So you've got a lot of options here especially a lot of ice cream options. So if you like to make ice cream at home, um, you'll have a lot of potential flavors to try in this book as well. So like the others in the series, you'll see um, the text is large, easy to read. You've got some illustrations in here to show you kind of what you're working with. And then um, also um, lots of white space so you don't feel overwhelmed by the recipe themselves. So it is super fun. Everything in here looks so yummy and you are not going to want to stop at just one. So you'll want to make lots and lots of these, especially the ones that happen to be your favorite kind of treat. If you like desserts, working with your family and getting into the kitchen, you are sure to love this one. And if this sounds like a great fit for you, I hope you look for it at your favorite bookstore.